This right here is Hadrian Farrell's second My Own Signature Bass. Let's check it out! <laughs> Hi everyone, my name is Gregor Fries. Today I'm accompanied by Frank It on Bass and this is the Jabba HF Sherwood 5 by Mayons out of Poland. It's a high-end jazz P-Bass in an awesome color. We have a roasted maple neck with block and lace with binding. It's super comfortable to play, it's super fancy and yeah, it's just a great bass. 18 mm string spacing at the bridge. And now let's hear what it sounds like passive. <laughs> It's a modern bass. Some features like the bridge are surprisingly vintage inspired, but for example the pickups, this is Delano's finest. Those are the ones with the big pull pieces with the big output and there's just nothing vintage about those. The bridge pickup is a noiseless stacked humbucker and in the neck position we have a split coil and together they have a very nice modern jazz bass vibe. <laughs> Hadrian is probably the most talented jazz bassist of my generation, but this bass right here is actually not really a jazz machine. I mean, you can obviously play jazz on it, but this is much more like a very fancy bread and butter bass. The craftsmanship here is stunning. You feel right away that this is definitely a professional's instrument. There's just everything's perfect about it. It even has these lumen lays uh, which glow in the dark. Really cool. The body is made from this wood. Sassafras. I will not even try to pronounce that right. I've done some research and the characteristics are supposed to be similar to ash. The neck is beautiful roasted maple and the fretboard even has bird's eyes. The width at the nut is 43mm and we get 24 jumbo frets. The Sherwood green finish, the gold hardware, the white shell pickguard. If this wasn't Hadrian's bass, this would probably go to some disco guy. Or Hadrian has a secret parallel disco career we just don't know about. The Delano pickups are made here in Germany and they are controlled by a master volume and a pickup blend. The other three controls are basses, mids and treble. That's my own's own preamp design. The tuners are hipshot ultralights and this bridge has everything you expect from a decent vintage bridge. But it comes with all the modern changes we want to see today. It's a comfortable rest for the palm of your hands and changing a string is done in just a second. But the most special feature here is the finger ramp. It's clear material so it's not very prominent visually but it makes a big difference for your playing. Those ramps are especially popular among jazz players because they make some finger playing techniques a little bit faster and more comfortable and that's just worth it. If you don't like it you can easily take it off. The guys from Mayons were so smart to fix it only with the screws that hold the pickup down anyway so you can easily take it out, put the screws back in, they will hold the pickup down and you won't even notice that something's missing. <laughs> Great job Hadrian, great job everyone with my own, what a fantastic bass. I think I personally would have chosen chrome hardware, but otherwise um, I think it's perfect. It's not really a jazz bass, it's not really a P bass. It's more of an interesting hybrid with modern active electronics with 24 frets and a 20 inch very flat fingerboard radius. And by the way, I think they come with the best gig bags any bass has ever come with. I mean, those are these hard shell kind of bags which really protect your bass. It's a great color, it seems very sturdy. I, I really love it, I want a few of those. So, really cool. And I guess that's it for today. Let me just sit here with the back now. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions or want to say anything, just put it in the comment section below. I will gladly get back to you. Otherwise, please like this video. This helps us out. Subscribe to our channel if you want to see more. And see you next time, I guess. Bye-bye.